So I was thinking of rickrolling you guys today. But you know what? I'm a nice guy. So I didn't rickroll you guys. And this is a real video. There's not gonna be any, any kind of stuff I was thinking about. And you don't wanna know what I was thinking about. So keep on watching. This is a video on Quick Poem. Um, the newest version, the poems 1.4, 2.0, 2.0.1, 2 .0 .2, all of that. Faster than Ponage 2 or Windpone or whatever. Not quite as fast as the iPhone, but it's a start. And the news the iPhone is in the works, if any of you guys are wondering. I'll have everything you need in the description over there. Yeah, over there. And. For those of you who do care and that do ask me, I was having lazy hair days, bad hair days, and I know it took me a long time to make this video, and the reason is, on Wednesday, I just got Ninja Gaiden. I don't know, I'm some kind of freak for games, but I, you know, whatever. So I'm going to go to the computer screen and show you about Quick Oh, uh, that was my retarded brother calling me gay, and I'm going to go to the computer screen and show you Quick Pwn. So that's the new quick poem from the iPhone 13. And it has a GUI. It's a pretty good GUI. Sorry. Um, they tried to use the GUI from Ponage Tool, and it worked out pretty good. So I'll, I'll have the link to download quick poem in the description over there. Somewhere over there. Over there. But that's not the point. Oh, okay. So, it does work on Windows, if any of you are wondering, because it's a Windows computer, and it works on Mac. I think it works on Mac. And you just extract this file, if you have WinRAR or whatever, you use to extract the files. And it's already set up, you just pick Quick Pwn GUI 120, it says. So it opens up, and this is all you get. So if you're on iPhone first gen, you pick iPhone. If you're on iPod Touch, you pick iPod Touch. Or if you're on iPhone 3G, you pick iPhone 3G. So I'm on, a, I'm, a, I'm on an iPod Touch, but I'm not going to pwn mine because mine is already pwned with WinPwn. But I'll show you how to do this. It says check, next. And if you don't have the 2.0 or 2.0.1 or 2.0.2 or 1.4, whatever you want to jailbreak, I'll have a link for the firmware in the description. So you just browse for your firmware. And mine is on my desktop in right here. 1.2.0.1. Firmware. That's the custom one. This is the one I need. So you open it. You go next, and you can already do replace this automatically. But add Cydia, add installer, replace boot logos. Now I'm just gonna put all of them. You're not ready to launch the Ponish process in a new Windows and interactive command line tool. So please read carefully and follow on-screen prompts. Please note that Quick Pwn will terminate iTunes related processes automatically. So you just press go. It's really easy. Just press go. So it just says hashing IPSW. You don't have to worry about the word hashing. Because you don't care about the word hashing. The word hashing is stupid. Okay, so you have to make sure that you're not using iTunes or anything before you do this. Because it'll just kill it or whatever. And making the firmware so it looks almost exactly like when pwn when you pwn your iPod iPod iPhone or iPod or iPhone I sound like an idiot please answer yes or no is your iPhone iPod connected to your computer via USB mine's isn't but if yours is put Y if my, mine isn't so I'm put N just put N so enter and then it'll say please connect your iPhone or iPod to your computer press enter and um, I'm not going to connect mine because mine is already pwned but since yours is going to be connected you just connect it or keep it connected and press Y and then it'll start the whole pwnage process just like the iPhone and when it's done with this command window it'll be done pwning and you'll have the custom firmware ready and it has to go through iTunes or anything um, so it's pretty cool. It's um next step to the new Z iPhone, but I don't really like Z iPhone because there's always a lot of bugs in it. But that's the new quick phone. Don't worry, that's all you have to do. Um, if any of you have the old quick phone with no GUI, no phone to a GUI, um, just download this one 
and uninstall the alone first and it. Just make sure your iPhone or iPod is connected. The new Z iPhone is in the works for you people who can't really use Polnich. But this is pretty simple, so even if you don't have to how to do Polnich, you should be able to use this. Thanks for watching. My video on quick phone two days late, I think. Two days? Well, not for the new GUI, but thanks anyway. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate.